everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of JVIT. Today's episode is kind of unique for a few different reasons. One, it's being filmed in a very different location, Seattle, Washington. And two, this actually has more to do with how to do something on your iPhone rather than a Mac. And it's something that's plagued me for a long time and in talking with a really good IT buddy of mine, I learned about it uh, just yesterday. And I, I was stoked, I, <laughs> I just can't help but want to share this with you guys. And now, the reason why I'm in Seattle is because uh, the company I work for full-time, New York Life, that is actually hosting a pretty big conference, a huge event, thousands of agents, their employees essentially. And so I was one of the technicians that was asked to come and support this event. So i um, very touched that they asked me to do that. Excited to be here and um, just excited to be filming this video for you here. So in today's lesson, we're gonna learn how to go ahead and actually, when you make a spelling mistake on your iPhone, how to use the space bar to get to the exact point which you wanna make the correction. Normally on an iPhone, if you make a spelling mistake, you have to use the spell check that comes up on there, or you have to erase the full word and start over again if it's not even close. But in today's video, we're gonna cover how to use the space bar to make your life a whole lot better. In Jesus' name, here we go. Alrighty, everyone. So the first thing that we're gonna do is open up a new message. Now, just to let you know, ordinarily, there'd be one other screen where you'd see your inbox and then select the new message button. However, I already had one queued up just out of respect to, you know, my family and friends, all the different people that I have on that list. So that way I didn't include their names in the video without their permission or have a million different blurred items on the screen, which would just look ugly. <laughs> so either way, here we are. We're in a new message and let's say that we make a spelling mistake. So let's say that we typed out something a little, well, difficult to determine like this. If we hit the backspace button, it's gonna say no replacements found because that's not even close to a real word. So the question with the iPhone is, how can we get to those middle letters? Because if we click on it, it's just gonna highlight the whole thing or select it. And if we click in the beginning, it's just gonna go to the beginning or the end, it's just gonna go to the end. So what we do instead is we press and hold on the space bar and then all of a sudden, we're allowed to place the cursor wherever we'd like. So let's say we're just gonna remove that D. So we hold the space bar, allows us to move wherever we'd like, basically turns your keyboard into a trackpad. And then you drop the cursor, you just let go of it. And then you remove whatever you didn't want. Then you move your cursor back to the end of the word and you could continue typing. And there you are. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining today's lesson in GVIT. I really, really enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun to learn and to make, and I hope this has you know, proven helpful to you or someone you care about. If you think it has, if you could give it a like rating, thumbs up down there, comment below, let me know what you think. Or the biggest compliment you could actually give is sharing this with someone else that you think could benefit from it, that you think would enjoy it. A reminder that the contest is still going on for the MacBook giveaway. So the GVIT is giving away a 2017 MacBook to one out of the first 100 subscribers that we have. Right now we're at 30, so we're climbing. This is exciting stuff. Uh, glad to have you on board. And yeah, just thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned in for the next episode of GVIT. Comes next Monday, 10 a.m. Same time, same channel. Love to have you. And as always, thank you so much. I love you, God bless you, and have a great day.